if you own a PAL Kitty A12 or A13 and using the stock micro SD card, in this video I'll show you how to upgrade to run Botocera and turn it into an impressive little mini arcade machine. If you don't already own one, at the time of this recording, A12s and A13s are still available at various online stores, some selling at extremely cheap prices. While adding Botocera is a great way to upgrade the machine, there are two minor points that I would like to mention at the beginning. HDMI output will work as long as the HDMI cable is connected when you power on the machine. However, the audio won't play through your TV speakers, but instead only on the PAL Kitty itself. Secondly, starting a game may take anywhere from 5 to 12 seconds. While neither of those are what I consider major issues, they might be important to you. In this video, we'll install Botocera to a new micro SD card, and I'll show you a few methods to copy your games to it. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you've not seen or heard of the PAL Kitty A12 or A13 devices, they're actually pretty cool. The interface you see here is not the one that ships with it. We'll be adding that, but wanted to go ahead and give you a glimpse of it. Both came out around 2020 or 2021. The A12 was the first to be released, and aside from the Tonka Truck red colors, eh, they look pretty sharp. I would have preferred black myself. On the right is the PAL Kitty A13 which is nearly identical in terms of the specifications to the A12, but it has a nifty feature that lets you fold the display into a laptop-like form factor, and the joystick just screws into the base. In this video, I'll mostly be showing the A12 since my A13 just recently developed an interesting screen flickering issue just as I began recording. It's something I need to fix or see if I can get a replacement. If you already own one of these, this video will help make it quite a bit better. If you don't and are interested, you can still find them on AliExpress and Amazon. I'll place a few links down below. The operating system that ships with the unit is functional, but a bit dated by today's standards. It also has a rather severe limitation that makes adding your own games to the system overly complicated. Back around 2001, I created a video for the A12 that demonstrated how you can run a Python program that can generate a new game list based on your own game ROMs. I'm not recommending you rush out and watch that video. Instead, we'll install Botocera to a new micro SD card, which will make the device much better. Let's discuss how to set up Botocera. In this video, we won't dive too deep into Botocera itself. For that, I recommend visiting wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash PC Botocera, which will provide a good overview. We will discuss how to copy BIOS and ROM files as it's a little bit tricky without Wi-Fi or USB 3.0 ports built into the PAL Kitty A12 or A13. It does have two much slower USB 2.0 ports, however. You'll want to use a new micro SD card for installing Botocera. I'll use this 128GB Gigastone card, but you can pick one up locally if you prefer. Now remove the current card and put it somewhere safe. On your PC, visit Botocera.org, then click the Get Botocera.Linux button. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page until you see the PAL Kitty A12 A13 and click the download link. Next, we'll use Belina Etcher to write the image to our micro SD card. Visit etcher.belina.io and click the Download Etcher button. Run the installer and launch the application. Click the Flash from File button and select the Botocera image for the PAL Kitty that we just downloaded and click the Open button. Make sure the new micro SD card is inserted into your PC and click the Select Target button. Click the checkbox beside the card and click the Select One button. Now click the Flash button. The image will then be written to the card. Once the flash is completed, click the Close button. Now remove the card from the computer and insert it into the PAL Kitty A12 or A13. Press the power button on the back of the machine and you'll briefly see a blue screen while the card is resized. The first time it boots, it'll take about 38 seconds and then you'll see the main Botocera screen. The volume may be set to the loudest setting, so you may want to lower that. 
there are some great freeware games pre-installed, such as Classic Kong. That's why you see some games listed here already. To get into the main menu, we'll go ahead and press the Start button, which is here at the left. Then we'll move down to System Settings. The first time will take a little longer, so just be patient. Then move down to the option that says Front End Developer Options and select the switch A and B buttons in the emulation station so they match the button layout of the device. If you'd like to turn off the background music that is playing, you can again press the start button, select sound settings, and flip the switch to the right of front end music. When you press B to go back, the music will stop playing. In the next segment, I'll show you how to copy your BIOS and games over to the micro SD card. Copying BIOS and ROMs to the micro SD card can be a little tricky, so we'll discuss that next. When we wrote the Bodocera image to the micro SD card and booted it up on the PAL Kitty A12, a partition was resized, which is the one that will contain your BIOS and games. There are actually two partitions created on the micro SD card the FAT32 boot partition, which is readable by Windows, called Bodocera, and a second, simply called Share. The share partition is not readable by Windows as it's an EXT4 partition, that is, without using a third-party utility or application, but I'll demonstrate some methods for copying your files to it through Windows. However, if you own a Mac, Raspberry Pi, or a PC running Linux, you will be able to read and write directly to the micro SD card just fine. So if you have one of those available, you can copy your files without using the following methods. The first and slowest method is using Wi-Fi. But John, you may exclaim, there is no Wi-Fi built into the PAL Kitty, and that's correct. However, some USB Wi-Fi dongles will work. This is the only one that I had available that did. I'll place a link to it down below. Anyways, just plug it into one of the USB ports on the back, press the Start button, select Network Settings, and flip the switch to enable Wi-Fi. Then select your network name or SSID and then enter your network key or password. Press the B button to go back, then go into network settings again. You should see the IP address at this point, but it may take going out and back in a few times before you see the internet status as connected. Now from your PC, open File Explorer and enter backslash backslash Bodocera or backslash backslash in the IP address of the PAL key. You should now see the share partition we discussed earlier. Inside there, you'll find the BIOS and the ROM subfolder, and you can copy these files from your original Bodocera micro SD or any new games that you want. In my testing, I had 274 megabytes of data to copy over for three different systems. While copying them over the network did work, it was excruciatingly slow and took around an hour for the 274 megabytes of data. It's nice that it worked, and if you have a small number of games to copy over, this may be just fine. But there are a few other options that I'll mention that are more expensive, but much faster. We'll first need to properly shut down the PAL Kitty device. Press the Start button, press Up, and select Quit. Then select Shut Down System, and yes, we really want to shut down. Then press the Power button, and remove the micro SD, and insert it into your PC. The next option we'll look at is Linux File Systems for Windows by Paragon Software. This application costs 20 US dollars and you will need to create an account and log in. Once installed, you'll be able to mount the share partition, which will show up as a drive letter under File Explorer. From there, you can copy your BIOS and ROM files directly to the micro SD card, then eject the card and reinstall it into the PAL Kitty. File transfers are quite a bit faster than the network option we discussed earlier. The third and final option we will look at is Disk Genius Professional. Unfortunately, the trial version or the standard version will allow copying files to your micro SD card. To use this, you will need to purchase the professional version. I realize that at this price, it's going to be a big turnoff for many. However, it's my personal favorite method that I've been using for several years. This isn't sponsored. I don't receive any kickbacks or anything like that from Disk Genius. Although they did provide a coupon code years ago that doesn't expire, I'll place it below if you're interested. 
After installing the application, select the Share Partition under the RD, or Removable Disk, then drag and drop your files. Even large numbers of very small files transfer faster than any of the prior two methods, but again, it comes at a price that may or may not be worth it to you. In the next segment, we'll turn our attention to gaming on the Pow Kitty and then wrap up this video. We'll check out some impressive games that can be played on the Pow Kitty A12 or A13 using Bodocera. Bodocera opens up emulation for a number of classic consoles. Here we have Astro Smash for the Intellivision. Many classic arcade games will also play fine. Some play best with samples, so be sure and copy those over. Here's an all-time classic, Galaga. Street Fighter Alpha 3? No problem. Some of the 3D fighting games will play too slowly on this hardware, such as Virtua Fighter. Versus Excite Bike is another classic that I really enjoy playing to this day. Space Ace on the Daphne emulator is another classic that you might not have considered would be playable, but it plays great. Virtual Boy also plays well. In fact, if you have a pair of red and blue 3D glasses, at the game selection screen, press and hold the A button for a few seconds, select Advanced Game Options, move down to Anagif Preset 3D, set it to red or cyan or red and blue, and you can play Virtual Boy games in 3D. Of course, there are PS1 games already included on the device, but now you can easily add your own. One thing that rather surprised me was that some PSP games will play decently. 3D games, not so much, but some 2D games play just fine. That brings us to the end of another video. I hope you found it informative and perhaps a little entertaining. Adding Botocera to the Pal Kitty A12 or A13 is a great way to extend the usefulness of the device, while adding games to the share partition can be a little time consuming if you use the Wi-Fi adapter, the results are well worth it. If you've installed Botocera to your A12 or A13 and have some tips to share with others, or just want to discuss something you saw here, please comment below. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.